Welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information for the purpose of connecting the global community of engineers, scientists, and other automotive industry experts. Today, we are joined by Florence Gressner, CEO and co-founder of NeuroCat. And Florence, welcome to AutoSense, and thank you for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. Florence, let's start with an overview of NeuroCat. Tell us a little bit about the company. Give us a high-level overview. Yes, for sure. So we founded NeuroCat um, approximately seven years ago, and we consulted the industry um, on how to deploy safety-critical AI systems into their use case. We had quite an exposure to different industries, and in the recent years, we focused more and more on automotive and how to enable um, ADAS and AV systems. Um, how do they put perception systems on the road um, with compliance to safety regulations? And we provide a software that provides um, and generates augmented data to help um, the testing of these perception systems. Absolutely. And so when it comes to validating these perception systems and getting safe and effective ADAS on the road, how do you achieve this? So in general, um, your audience might be um, familiar with the terms of sense, plan, and act. So these are these um, three process steps. However, if you're not in control of the sensing, the perception component might perceive some objects wrong. And this comes becomes very malicious for the planning and leads to very dangerous acting potentially. So we also analyzed the DMV data and um, we saw that perception is actually the driving issue for the disengagements for the ADAS and AV systems on the road. And it is actually because the perception uh, or the environment that we want to perceive become and became so complex that it is very much difficult to describe it with any physical model. And even worse, there are so many different scenarios that have to be captured that it becomes sheer impossible. I was also at the AutoSense in Detroit in this year, and everybody was basically talking about the long tail. And what they are talking about, or what they mean by this, is uh, the long tail distribution that actually describes that there's an infinite amount of infinitely rare situation that has to be dealt with. And it becomes impossible to collect a significant amount of all these rare situations for testing and or for training, basically. And we found a quite elegant way around it um, to enable our customers to solve this perception issue and allow them um, to concentrate on the system. Let's take that thought and run with it a little further, Florence. How does NeuroCat then address this challenge? So you have to acquire all of this diverse environmental data, but how do you do that without the need for these exhaustive real-world data collection efforts? Yeah, so actually for this, we might need to slice up um, this long tail a little bit. And here we're having um, basically um, on the left edge, a the common situations where you have clean weather sunshine you're driving on a highway or in the city and these common situations or normal situations are quite easy to collect however the more we go to the right of this distribution you are seeing very very rare objects and very rare constellations of those like a manhole steaming on a hot day in front of a laundry facility and um, your radar, camera, or LiDAR might see different objects in this situation. Or there's also this classic example of a zebra on the street that might not really happen on the road. And then there is this very, very big part in the middle of the long tail um, that is very much interesting to us and to our customers. And within here, we are seeing different environmental conditions like lighting effects, um, motion blurs, or day-night changes. And more importantly, what makes it so complex is all the combinations of these situations. So when it's raining, for example, you might see some droplets or some blurriness, or you have some overcast or clouds and the rain progresses and there might be some reflections on the road or some spray from other vehicles. And um, this is just rain. So there are so many different environmental um, parameters here that having a combination um, that makes it sheer impossible to collect all of this. And additionally, on top, there are different severity levels of these 
um, heavy rain, light rain, and so on. And we are basically augmenting real data points such that you can use the very common and the normal and easy to collect real data points and enrich them with these environment parameters where we are adding then realistic rain on it and with different building blocks. And we are proving that um, these data points can be used for train uh, for testing, but also, of course, um, for training. So we are basically taking all these data points that are real, uh, easy to collect and are creating and enriching them to all these situations that are basically impossible to collect in statistical significance. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Uh, Florence, how does NeuroCat's ability then to augment raw data say differ from sensor realistic simulations? So is it designed to replace simulation or coexist with each other? What's your, what's your insight there? So we don't want to replace simulation. Um, I think we are rather complementing um, on a different part um, of the testing and the development. So simulation is actually very much perfect to develop and also to test um, these parts of the system where you're planning and where you're acting um, in a zill or in a hill setup. But uh, they are always basically very well when you are on object level. However, these objects also have to be created somehow by the perception component. And this is also where our augmentations come into play and fit perfectly, namely to test this perception components with an AI loop in a setup or a Zill or a Hill setup. And um, this will then test that these objects are also well created, such that then the simulation can start. So basically, um, I think the best setup would be a portfolio of real data for the normal situations and augmented data for um, the um, different and complex environment conditions and some simulation for testing then the acting and uh, the planning afterwards when the perception works properly. We're speaking with Florence Gressner, CEO and co-founder of NeuroCat. And Florence, uh, can you explain and provide some additional depth into how, how does NeuroCat provide insights into scenarios where perception functions would need strengthening? And then further to that, how would you consider this to be a game changer for solving uh, the perception puzzle, as it were? Yes. So um, like I elaborated on this rain example, there are also different building blocks inside this rain. Um, like there's some reflection on the road. There might be some droplets, some blurriness and some spray from other cars. We are actually decomposing the environment into different building blocks that can be then systematically tested. And it is, um, you can um, evaluate these different building blocks or noise patterns and figure out if this is a problem for your system. Actually, a AI developer used augmentations as benchmarking for quite some time already. And also in safety, um, it is a common pattern to inject noise to figure out um, where data um, or how to um, improve a system. And we are, enabling our customers to decompose the performance of the perception component into this comprehensible set of building blocks that then guides their composition of their training sets or guides some data campaigns that makes it then um, easier and also understandable on where the perception component needs um, support and improvement. Lawrence, we're thrilled to have you and NeuroCAD as part of AutoSense for our attendees and viewers who may be interested in learning more, uh, where can they go to find out more about your products and solutions? Yeah, so first of all, um, I will have a talk at the AutoSense. So can you can listen to that or come visit us at our booth at the AutoSense or just visit our website or just try it out, um, register for our software and uh, just experience it yourself. Florence Gressner, CEO and co-founder of NeuroCat, joining us. Uh, for AutoSense Brussels 2023, September 19th through the 21st at the Auto World Museum in Brussels, Belgium. Uh, Florence, I look forward to seeing you in Brussels. Until then, uh, thank you for being with us and sharing your expertise and thought leadership. I look forward to connecting and meeting up in, in Brussels. We'll see you then. Thanks for being with us, though, in the meantime. Cool. Thanks a lot. See you then. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to the AutoSense YouTube channel and follow AutoSense on LinkedIn. For more information about our world-class events, visit auto-sense.com. That's auto-sense.com. 
in Detroit. On behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony. Thank you.